walking. Sinking slowly into that barefooted rhythm, one, two, one, two, as if she is moving to the sound of the earth's heartbeat, her feet carry her over great distances and yet nowhere at all. This somber, solitary sojourner slowly saunters on her way to no destination besides that which time can ultimately bring her. But sitting still or striding swiftly, the second hand silently spins, making us all march forward to our fate. This traveler's home is up this place no more than yours or mine, but her march is steady and sincere. And although her journey through time is one that she alone can face, the manner in which she finds a place for her heart can thread the deepest bonds of love created into a beautiful and lasting tapestry, and she will no longer be lonesome. Showered in starlight, her pale skin feels the coolness of the biting wind, and although she has not eaten, a smile touches her lips, for she knows of a place where the warmth enshrouds the soul and the bread is everlasting. Listening to the whispers of creation, she meanders through the masses who are all loudly wondering, where have all the unicorns gone? Not noticing that when you wonder so loudly, sometimes the answers just can't be heard. They never left. Because all who believe that there is no more magic is a tragic indication of the devastation that has wrought our souls and left us wanting. There is only one shape that can fit into the void that is present in each of us, and like a horse, stretching for a carrot that it will never reach while grass grows at its feet, people forget that pleasure is fleeting. But see, you must remember that when the sun embraces the rain, arcs of color dance across the sky to show you just how beautiful you truly are. But even so, as she walks, staccato thoughts drip-drop like the start of a sweet summer storm soon forming a quiet mist of confusion and sogginess, and her requests for a towel remain as unrequited as expected. No backpack rests upon her shoulders, for when she reaches the road's end, her possessions will be meaningless, and she uses her footsteps to make her feel less like the world gives its very best every day just for her. But it often does, if you think about it. Her footsteps are small. But her heart is not. And although she's got everything to lose, what she gains is all that she knows how to use to truly make a difference. Traveling lightly through this foreign land, she offers her hand to those who need it, and flowers will forever grow in the seeds that she has spread. You could offer her the moon, but she would say, you're silly, the moon is for everybody, and she simply doesn't see how the burning sun pales in comparison to her radiant, selfless smile, and perhaps one day she'll rest within the rapture of infinity but for the road she travels now, there's simply one more wayward mile.